Then we have a Wellington Terman taking on Jared Gooden. Wellington Terman, this guy's a very solid grappler. He's on that team with Glover Teixeira, Alex Pajeda. He's with them day in and day out, and he has been for a couple of years. Solid grappler. He is very slick on the ground. He's always looking to sweep or submit. Striking isn't very powerful. Like, he doesn't have that big one-punch power, but he's got really solid entries. He uses his footwork well, and his striking is coming together very, very nicely. He's coming up that loss to Randy Brown, where he did have success striking, but he just didn't do enough to steal a second round. It was a 29-28. He needed one more round, needed to put a few more things together, just wasn't able to do it. He's taking on Jared Gooden. This guy's an explosive guy. He's got power in his hands. He's got solid takedowns. He's not great anywhere, but his power, speed, athleticism have afforded him some success. He's a very dangerous guy who has had an unfortunate run in the UFC. He was cut in 2020 after going 2021 after going one and three. Then he went four and one on the regional scene, earned his way back into the UFC, but it was a short notice fight against Carlson Harris where he was taken down five times. Wellington is a two to one favorite here. On paper, I get it. It makes sense. He's got improved striking, very good grappling, but he's also inconsistent. The striking progress he made, if you go watch that Petrovsky fight, Seemed gone in the Randy fight. Like where we just watched you be a great striker. Where did that go? He took down Carl Roberson four times in that fight, and then he goes 0 for 5 and takedown attempts in his last fight. I do think Wellington's gonna win this fight. I don't know if I can completely trust him. A good knockout or even a good decision where he gets a whole bunch of takedowns is a real possibility here. I'm gonna pick Wellington Terman. He should win this fight. His striking should be technical enough. He should be able to get the takedowns, even though it's got, I mean, takedown accuracy 19%. That's not good. But he is training in a very good team. He is getting looks from literally two different world champions. There are three belts in that room. I'm from Connecticut. I've known Glover for a very, very long time. I have been inside that gym many times. It is not the biggest gym in the world, meaning you can see the mega gyms like American Top Team, Jackson Wink, all these massive mega gyms. This is a what you would expect a gym in Connecticut to be. It's a smaller gym, and Glover has surrounded himself with an amazing community, and the fact that there are three belts, three different UFC belts in that gym is wild. And Wellington Terman is surrounded by that energy, that greatness, a phenomenal striker, phenomenal grappler, just that winning mentality. So I do think Wellington Terman wins this fight. He has the tools. He should do it. The inconsistencies worry me a little bit, but uh, I'm leaning Wellington here. He should be the pick. Two to one's a little steep because I, I think he has to get his wrestling going to make something happen. I don't know if he's going to, but he has to.